Orange has a group of churches that were willing to open up their door on a daily basis and uh, provide a hot meal, a hot, healthy meal for people who can't afford a hot meal. We decided that we would get involved in that and we chose uh, St. Mary because that church is just a few blocks from the bank here. This made it easy for us to get involved. But once we got there and started uh, working with the soup kitchen, we realized that we were getting as much blessing out of it as we were given to others. This church is located in kind of the, an older part of town, and there's just a lot of people in that area that uh, basically this is their hot meal of the day. We go down about 11.15 and we work there for our hour of serving, but we also provide dessert uh, every Wednesday. We bring in um, our desserts in the morning and we have someone that picks those up and brings them down to the soup kitchen. We've started two things as a result of this project. We've started saying, well, you know, I really need to clean my closet this week, but I don't want to have a garage sale good usable clothes, we bring those to the soup kitchen. They have some racks they put those on and people just pick them up as they leave. We have uh, learned that a lot of the young people have community hour projects that they, they need for various things, maybe it's National Honor Society or some club that they're in at school. We allow them to do their baking. They can do that on Tuesday afternoon and, and uh, bring it by the bank on Wednesday morning, which a lot of times our employees now are getting their children involved that way, or their grandchildren, and they'll bake, and then the employee will bring the, the dessert by on Wednesday morning for pickup. But we serve about 200 plates almost every Wednesday now. So it makes you feel really good to know that the people that are coming are people that need it. For six years, I don't know of any date that that soup kitchen has been open that we haven't been represented in that way.